Uh, hi everyone. Uh, this is in response to a um, from a person that request that uh, that this to be looked into about the E. coli outbreak. Um, they're uh, really alarmed about uh, what is going on with the outbreak uh, that it is ha happening just about everywhere. And what I have found, uh, some I've been trying to find to link to where exactly uh, what's been going on, what's been happening, and um, what I suspect may be going on, and why this is happening, um, not just in America and Europe, but in other countries as well. And uh, this is what I found. And I want to share them with you, and I'll leave links uh, for you to go in and uh, read and uh, study these for yourself. Um, okay, this is from, uh, um, I believe, NBC. Uh, I'm sorry, MSNBC. Okay, uh, website uh, WHO. Uh, that's the World Health Organization. Uh, e. coli outbreak may be from a super toxic new strain. Now, the reason I picked this is that I do suspect uh, who, if people, if you, excuse me, if uh, some of you don't know uh, who, who, who is, <laughs> they are part of the United Nations. Okay. So uh, I suspect that the, there's something very suspicious going on in regards to this outbreak, this sudden outbreak. And um, I know I've, I've heard a lot about uh, it happening with cucumbers in Spain, and with now they're saying that it was uh, with like bean sprouts or some kind of sprouts in Germany and all. So it's like uh, tossing the blame. Um, in different European countries, but uh, that's uh, I, I'm not going to say it was well, not the problem, but I'm trying to get to the heart of the problem. That's what I'm saying. What's what's really causing this outbreak? Okay, but anyway, I'm not going to uh, use up much time because I have a lot to cover. And uh, in this article, like I said, I'll just leave links. And it says that uh, Chinese and German scientists analyzed the DNA of this E. coli bacteria and determined that the outbreak was called by an entirely new super toxic strain that contains several antibiotic resistant genes. Okay, according to a statement from. Uh, Sanzens, I can't pronounce it. It's S H E N Z E N. It's in China. It's a China-based laboratory, B G I, and it said that the strain appeared to be a combination of two types of E. coli. And um, this is a unique, unique strain that has never been isolated from patients before. Uh, says uh, an expert from the uh, World Health Organization says that the new strain has various characteristics that make it more uh, virulent and to toxin producing uh, than the many E. coli strains people normally carry in their intestines. Uh, they know this. They know exactly what they're doing, and they're leading us to believe, you know, they're just feeding us a bunch of um, propaganda. This is all bio-warfare that they're um, doing to us. Because um, I'm not going to finish this article, because you all can read it for yourself. And I just don't believe a lot anymore about what the media says. And it's really hard to really find uh, the truth uh, without, you know, them telling some kind of lies in it, mixing the lies in it. Um, but this article that I found, uh, now they're, they, this website is very good. It's called naturalnews.com.
so uh, I like reading articles from this website. Um, this article uh, here is um, E. coli superbug outbreak in Germany was due to the abuse of antibiotics in the meat production industry. And it says the E. coli outbreak in Germany is raising alarm worldwide as scientists are now describing as the particular strain of E. coli as uh, extremely aggressive and toxic. Even the worst, the worst strain is resistant to antibiotics, making it one of the world's first uh, widespread superbug uh, food infections that's ranking, racking up a notable body count while sickening thousands. And uh, it says about the dangers of cucumbers that E. coli does not grow on cucumbers. E. coli is an intestinal uh, strain of bacteria that only grows inside the guts of animals and people. Um, it says the sor source of all E. coli is animal and not vegetable. And um, So scientists have been cracking the code of a particular lethal strain of E. coli. This is a, a primarily uh, analysis points to the possible reasons for the strain of E. coli, extreme aggressiveness and resistance to antibiotics. In uh, addition, it can now be uh, researched how new this strain has developed, why this strain can spread at a great speed and why the illness and it uh, unleashes is so serious. So I'll leave a link to that also. Um, now this uh, article, um, uh, what I thought maybe that the why it was spread to into different places, I thought of chemtrails. And this particular article uh, is t um, well, it's titled. Uh, chemtrails in the Finger Lakes, New York, and the E. coli outbreak. And it was uh, sent to th this editor and says, uh, they said, greetings. I've been wondering if the states with this E. coli outbreak all were recently heavily sprayed with chemtrails. Uh, last week they were laying down chemtrails here like I've never seen before, layer after layer after layer, all all day and all the next day, so maybe through the night too. All the bird and animals were silent and hiding. I'm in uh, the Finger Lakes area of New York and uh, was so alarmed that I did, not, did a little checking on the net. On one side, a woman posted that Syracuse, north of here, was experiencing similar heavy, heavy spraying. And that's where she en ended it. And uh, they dropped many things in chemtrails, but the E. coli outbreak is most likely due to using recycled water from irrigating those infected spinach fields. And they don't want to say that on the news, but that's the only logical source, in my opinion. I recently wrote a small article on that topic and um, they go on about the mysterious Spanish E. coli outbreak um, and this was back in 2006 okay um, but this will just give you some uh, clues some ideas um, you know what is going on um, about the current E. coli outbreak. Um, oh, there's a link to it. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a to the mysterious uh, Spanish E. coli outbreak of September 22nd, 2006. Um, possibly something that they were doing. They were testing something. Um, for a later false flag attack, maybe. Yeah, uh, my idea is that um, this is possibly a bio uh, attack that they're doing, and um, uh, this is the. See, this website is exposed post says that the E. coli uh, outbreak in Europe is bi bio war. 
and out of nowhere a strange new deadly disease had uh, sprung up in Europe causing uh, an explosion of over 3,500 serious illness and 35 or more deaths in at least 10 European countries and now suspected cases in the United States. So it's very suspicious people. It's, this is very suspicious about the E. coli break. Um, it, just, it was like a day or so ago that I thought, well, you know, this is coming out of nowhere. And uh, to me, this sounds like it's um, it's very suspicious. And this is the mi mystery uh, deepens over E. coli poisoning. And I claim that it uh, started in Germany at a uh, festival and uh, in two restaurants there. And these, this man is holding up cucumbers. Um, since Germany was quick to point the blame at cucumber supported from Spain, triggering trade um, tensions, and uh, it's just all a mess. Um, people running frantic, you know, about and um, people getting sick from this also. Um, yeah, I'll just leave the links to everything and you can uh, read all of this because there's just, uh, just a lot, lot to read and a lot to take in. It says, uh, and this E. coli outbreak was linked to the Hamburg Fest. This was in Germany and uh, that has spread to 12 countries and kills 19 people so far. Um, Yeah, I think this is going to tr uh, try to cause panic, but uh, don't, uh, I mean, don't be afraid until we find out what's going on, right? Um, because right now, it is it is a big mystery right now, what is going on with this, and um, I, th I think I should end it here, because, oh, uh, Saudi Arabia. It's, it's even in Saudi Arabia that this uh, Saudi farmer says the Ministry of Disease kills 300 sheep within an hour. And um, it says a Saudi farmer who went into his barn to take his 300 sheep on the, their daily pasturing was shocked to find them all dead. A uh, newspaper in the Gulf Kingdom said Saturday, it says the farm said he checked the uh, sheep an hour later and they were alive. Um, in in the barn uh, in the western town of uh, Kafunda, can't pronounce that too well, sorry. Uh, the un, unnamed farmer had owned the sheep for years and, and they were a sole source of living for his family of 16. Oh, how, how devastating for that family. Uh, inspectors at the Ministry of uh, Agriculture said they had been taking samples from the dead sheep to determine the cause of death. Uh, the Arabic language daily uh, sub uh, said, um, "That's very sad. Um, still more um, on the German outbreak. Uh, e. coli bug genes look super aggressive." Um, yeah, I, just my opinion, I think that this is a false flag attack on us, and um, said Mother Nature is the best bioterrorist, and this is unleashed from somewhere, we just have to figure out the source of where it's coming from. Um, says that according to China's um, laboratory, one of the world's largest gene sequencing labs, the outbreak bug is now 3% identical genetically to an E. coli strain that has caused illness in AIDS patients in a Central uh, African Republic. Okay, I'm out of time. 
So uh, I'll leave the links and y'all take care. God bless you all. Jesus loves you.